What's up and welcome back to Cleats to Whistle Podcast. I am your host, Brad Valdez. We are back here at session two at North Odom High School. Uh, we have a, re- a, a, a friend of the pod right here. And then we got a new guy, man. He's going to we hey, no three takes, man. No three takes. Just have a good time uh, and just have fun with it, man. This guy, he, he'll he walk you through it, man. So, um, but yeah, welcome. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, but just go ahead and, and, and tell him your name, your position, and, and your year. Sir, uh, I'm Jack Sims, class of 25, and I play safety. Um, my name is Luke Tompkins. I'm class 2026, 20, and I'm a wide receiver and cornerback and safety. There you go. And he is a 26, man. Uh, bright, talented kid. Lanky kid, catch anything. Were you gonna play inside or outside? Uh, outside, but I'm I'm outside, but I'm gonna play a little bit inside this year, you know, because we don't really have much depth. But you know, be all over it. Mainly outside though. There we go. There we go. And he is. Hey, he had a couple write ups on you already too. So, he, he, hey, the sky's the limit for this cat right here. I'm very excited for you. Um, but but uh, about yourself, man. Uh, go ahead and and, and shout out your uh support staff. Who who supports you? Oh, definitely Coach Roberts. He's been with me, you know, from the beginning. I've always talked to him, had a great connection. And as well as Coach Keys. He's been my coach since middle school, and he's kind of somebody I look up to. There you go. Great shout-out. Your family your family supports you, man? Oh, yes, sir. My dad, He's he's been through it through everything he's he started off football and he's who got me into it and that's how i started playing so there you go and the number you wear man did, did it have a meaning to you uh 14 uh it was just i also looked up liam hudson he was uh one of the players that you know he he shined all around and i kind of wanted to be like him so damn there you go all right we're gonna get into luke real quick here uh, uh he actually had an injury when he was on the podcast last year and it, and it kind of it kind of like lingered all year you know what i mean was that kind of frustrating for you yeah, it was pretty frustrating since I couldn't get to play with um, the seniors. They were, they were my favorite class, so, you know, I didn't get to play with them, so it was very frustrating, and, you know, didn't get to play in South or OC, so that was very frustrating, and, you know. It's whatever, though. I got this year, two more years, so we'll be back at it. There we go. There we go. Uh, now, the young guys, man, um, Shout some of those guys. You know what I mean? Because your younger guys, man, are gonna watch this and be like, "Man, I wish you'd shout me out." But but who who's out there grinding, man? Oh, uh, I like Chris Rich and uh, Price Duke. He's he's always been a dog. He's somebody that I played with through middle school, and he's just I like to watch him play defense. He always hits somebody, and I like it. There you go. We you know and I and I and I admitted this on the last podcast. I, I picked J Town over you guys in the playoff game. Yeah. You know what I mean? How? how in that in that in that last podcast too, it, it felt like you guys were 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 chosen or you know you were picked against a lot last year. You know what I mean? How'd that make you feel? Uh, well, you know we've always been the underdog. Nobody ever really thought we could do it, uh, but with our good coaching staff and uh, it was just something nobody ever thought could happen. It was obviously, I mean, if you look at the numbers, you know, we hadn't gone to the second round of the playoffs since, what, like 2014 or something like that? Yeah, 2013, and 2014. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. nobody thought it could happen, but we got it done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and those years they, they you played against my team, Western. So that's, oh, really? yeah, just so that kind of hurts when you guys. So I understand it, you know what I mean? But uh, your leadership skills, man, like, like, are you a vocal guy or are you like a show me guy? I'm kind of 50-50. I like to lead by example, but, you know, if somebody needs a little help, I like help them out, trying to lead them in the right way. I love it, man. I love it. But you got to work on both, right? Yes, sir. You know what I mean? And and we talked, you know, we talked about this last year. You know what I mean? Have, have you worked on anything, like like being more vocal? You know, just like Sims said, I usually like to lead by example more than talk. I'm not a very talkative person. When I come to the field, you know, I just do everything by example. And... Usually, all the younger guys and people who don't know what they're doing, I feel like that's a better way of showing them by leading by example. Than there you them. go. But we got to get you to be more vocal. Yes, you know sir. what I mean? Twenty six, man. You you take that that leap, man. He's gonna be on the podcast next year, so I'm I'm gonna be back, man. So I'm gonna be on you. Make sure you're a vocal guy, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, did you play both sides of the bar? Or did you just play one side? Uh, so last year we actually battled with a lot of injuries, and personally, I'm a, I'm a defensive guy. That's what I like to play. I, I find it a little bit easier and uh, better to understand. But uh, with, with those injuries that we battled, obviously I was having to play both ways and fill in positions that I don't normally play. But we f- were able to find a way to fill those gaps and become successful. Yeah, and, and what what did you play when you played offense? Honestly, I played just about every receiver position. I, I even went in the backfield a little bit. So it, 
you know, I'm I'm not used to it. While while I did play it like back in the JV days in middle school, like I said, I I like to focus on defense, but I'm I'm here to help the team. So, you know, I'll play wherever they put me. Nice, man. Nice, man. You guys are getting your leadership skills. You know what I mean? With you, with this being your last year, you know what I mean? How how are you feeling about this team? Uh I mean, when I say it's a little upsetting, it's a little heartbreaking that I'd, you know, it, it's the last time I'll, I'm going to get to play football probably. Um, but I feel confident. Uh, obviously, we lost a lot of our starters last year, uh, and we have uh, younger classmen stepping up and trying to fill those roles. So I think as long as they learn to grow and, you know, uh, be able to play the art of the game, they'll, we'll be successful. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, I guess that spring ball just started, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So you really can't tell you guys haven't been banging or anything like that. So you don't know how good this team could be, but, but like, how, how do you feel? I feel good. you know, we got two quarterbacks that just came in, Colin Daniels and Kingston Dugan from OC and Cal. I think it's gonna be a close battle between them for the quarterback spot and our skills. We did. I mean, we lost a lot of people, but we have a lot of people that's younger that are going to step up and fill in that position. You know, we didn't really lose any big guys, so I think we're going to be good. I think I'm ready for it. So there you go. Yeah. Are you are you going to play both sides, or are you yeah. are you going to try to stick to primarily offense? No, uh, I'm I'm probably going to play both sides again, offense and defense. There so, you go. Yeah. What do you play on defense? I'm a safety. Right, they have me at safety right now. Last year I played corner. So. Oh, okay, nice man. You know, you guys got a great room, man. You know what I mean, Coach Marsh. Had you guys playing really, really well last year. Even yeah. that's why I said it was kind of frustrating. I didn't get to see you out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, I'll talk about Coach Coach Marsh, man. You know, we like him. He's he's funny. I mean, he's a good coach. We're gonna we're gonna miss him this year. Yeah. That's crazy because there is some moves. We'll talk to Coach Roberts later and you'll and you'll hear those. But uh and at your position coach, man. Who who's your position coach? Uh, well, we've been flipping stuff around. Uh, I don't, honestly, I don't know if I'm working with the DB coach, but I know, uh, coach McGraw, he's stepping up as our defensive coordinator where, uh, you know, previously we, uh, had a, or, uh, you know, a coach switch up. Uh, and I like him. I, I was able to talk to him last year and he's somebody I know I can, if I have any questions, I can step up and talk to him. There you go. And that, and that's a great, you know what I mean? Coach Roberts is, is a great leader. You know what I mean? The, 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 the switch from from last year to this year it seems like it's it's you know i mean you guys are more cohesive mm -hmm. you guys are finally you know how is your how is your uh your weights went up man oh yeah so you know i started with coach randy mcgraw out there we um we be, we go usually go to this dude in the morning named marcus um he's down in mid-america but i go to we usually go to him on the times we don't lift but you know everything's went up a lot 30 pounds on bench in a month and squat and uh, power clean have all been going up every time we maxed out. So, collar bones are doing fine and weights have been going up. There you go. And you're healthy, ready for the season. Yes, sir. Completely healthy. I'm playing lacrosse right now too. So. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Damn. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. And and what about you, man? Have you have you has your weight went up? Oh yes, sir. Uh, I mean, as you know, we've been lifting all through winter, doing our morning lifts, and I try to show up to the everyone I can and. I, I've had pretty good success with it. I, went, I think I went up uh, 20 pounds on bench, uh, 15 on power clean, and I think about uh, 35 on squat. So. Let's go. Let's go, man. With with, uh, with uh, your goals this year, you know what I mean? What personal goal do you have? I just want to be able to at least make it to our second round again. If if not the third of the playoffs, I want to see us uh, make progress, but I definitely don't want to see a decline if – if anything, I just want to be back to the second round. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. For the personal goal, you want to see your tackles go up. You want to see PBUs. You want to see interceptions. What What do you want to I do? Want, I want the interceptions to go up, and I want to see if I can get a touchdown. So There you go. Great, man. You know, play offense more, and then uh, obviously playing a bigger role on defense as well. Um, I, I think it would be possible. Let's go. Let's go, kid. And and, and you? Um, my personal goal is this year probably just hit 1,000 yards receiving. You know, uh, around 15 touchdowns and get my first offer. So, that would be really nice. There yeah. you go. You're 26, man. I, yeah. I'm I'm excited for you. I'm I'm excited. You 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 know what I mean? You look healthy, you look good, so you you got taller. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you grow like 2 inches? Yeah, something like that. 2 inches. I think so. Yeah. Let's go, man. Let's go. Uh, uh your favorite mem memory uh playing football. Oh, it's definitely got to be Coach Keys. I mean, there's not one that stands out in particular, but the stuff that man says, it's uh, it lights up the room. It's oh, yeah. it's great. 
Mine is probably um, playing OCYFL, um, All-Stars. We They were with the Bandits. We used to travel around as a team and stay in hotels. You know, that was always really fun. And winning them, of course. That was really fun. There you go, man. There you go. You know, um, you, your, your, your skill set, right? What's one tool that you're, you're trying to put in a tool bag, man? What, what, are you, what are you trying to get better at? Um... My like crispier routes, you know, they're I don't have I don't run bad routes, but you know, like getting more like like, like elusiveness in them and like, you know, faster cuts and everything too, because I you know, it's just and exploding off the ball faster maybe. So, so you get off and Yeah, then. get off and just like cutting faster and everything like that too. There you go. There you go. And what are you working on, man? Uh I li- I like better coverage. Uh all through my career I've played linebacker, so it wasn't a huge thing to me. And so definitely moving to the safety position. It's not horrible, but it's definitely something I want to work on. Well, uh, I, I know we're going to run less man. We ran a lot of man last year. Uh, and we struggled in some areas with that. But with the zone, I, th- I think we'll be able to be successful. So you're better. Are you, are you better playing from depth or are you better closer to the ball? Oh, definitely better closer to the ball. <laughs> you know what I mean? You got to feel it. You know what I mean? But you, you know, you, you're a linebacker, so you, you love contact. Yeah, I love to hit. There you go, man. I love it, man. Um, Last year, you guys you guys went into J Town, and you guys beat them, man. How how was that feeling going on the road, man? You know, coming from the sidelines since I was hurt, you know, our sidelines were really hyped for it, and we were really excited. You know, you know, Gray Schmidt, you just interviewed him. He had the one of those top ten catches on ESPN. Oh. He got put on there. It was really nice. You know, we played really well that game. You know, we didn't give up, even though we were up. We just kept going the whole entire time really fun yeah and w- with you being hurt man w- what was your what was your kind of your role last year you know last year I was kind of just uh hype man I you know like so since we had a lot of younger kids and they came to me and asked me since they really couldn't because the younger kids like the older men the older kids played both ways so the younger people who came off on like offense they would kind of ask me what to do and like what they're doing wrong if what they're doing right so you know I kind of just helped them right there and stuff so yeah. trying to kind of like mentored a little bit, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, I love it, man. And, and how was how was that feeling, man? Coming off the field after that that win? Oh, it was great because we we scored a lot of points. And while our one main goal last year was to get a home playoff game, uh, the the chance to get to play another round was kind of what we were looking for, you know, in the end, which we got. So it was great. I love it, man. Great episode, but make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, show some love by hitting that like button, man, for these guys. Uh, just got a couple more questions for you guys. Uh, what other what other sports do you play? I used to play basketball, but um, once I got a little bit older, it was just kind of something I'd, I lost the love for. And So I, I like I like football. It's something I've always played. Yeah. It, it's kind of where I stay. Yeah, so you're playing. You're playing lacrosse now. Yeah, we're playing lacrosse. We're um, seven and three right now, ranked number ten in the state. So we're doing really well right now. Damn, how how are you enjoying that? Uh yeah, I like it. You know, it's a lot of running, but I really like it. You know, especially coming from since we're winning right now, we're playing good. We play South tomorrow, so it's gonna be a big game. You know, but yeah, I really like it. I love it, man. A lot of the footballers play lacrosse too, so it's just <laughs> another time to hang out with them. And stuff yeah. Too. Yeah, and and do you have a like like a celebration, man? You got like a, a team or a position handshake or anything like that? Uh, me and Zach Morrison, when we when we get our tackles and you know make big plays on defense, we we chop it up together. There you go, man. A phenomenal episode, boys. Uh, but like I said, this is the second session here at North Odom. Uh, this is just player profiles, man. The com- for your community to get to know you guys a little more. I know everybody knows you, man. You, you've been on the pod, so so it's a good thing. But but this is just, you know, building community awareness for you guys, man. Uh, you guys have phenomenal student section. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was just like, this is nuts over here. That's it. These guys, just great episode. So, like I always say, everyone has a story. We are here for them to tell it. Cleats to Whistle podcast. <laughs>